Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your weekly love reading for March 19th through the 26th. This is for the sign of Aries. It's supposed to be a love reading, we'll see what comes up. Sometimes they don't turn out to be love. We will reveal this card at the end. These cards are fairly new, so they don't shuffle as well. Strength and reluctance, okay? Reluctance to move forward, but you're being called to have strength and confidence and willpower and discipline to leave something, to move forward, okay? But you're reluctant. You're reluctant to move forward. Maybe you just are totally withdrawn at this time. You may be feeling like you don't want to, like you don't have any compassion or you don't... Compa or somebody doesn't isn't giving you compassion. Now, you could be dealing with somebody, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, that isn't putting in energy, that isn't doing their work, that isn't giving their, their part. And you're looking at them, all right? You're like, I see what you're doing. I see that. I see. I see that you're not giving me emotional support. I see that you're not putting in any, any energy here. And I think what you're doing is you're mustering up your confidence to perhaps walk away from this situation or something. This is like there's somebody that has hidden agendas here. Now it could be the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio or the Leo. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So, you know, I feel like, let me just get the rest of them. I might as well just dig them right out, right? And then I can zoom this in since I forgot to last time. Yeah, you're dealing with somebody who is maybe they're bitter, maybe they're angry with you, they're upset, they, they're very, um, you know, secretive, maybe jealous of you. But anyway, let me get going. Let me get this zoomed in. I mean, if you look at this, I mean, it doesn't... I mean, we have the High Priestess reversed. This is somebody with a hidden agenda. They've, they've got secrets, and they could use them against you at any time. And I think you know it, okay? You know this. And this person, it could be either the water sign or the air sign, I believe. I believe. And I feel like, you know, they're, you're dealing with somebody here that is very manipulative cunning and um they might be angry with you and you're just like hmm i see what's going on here i think somebody has done something deceptive okay there's been some sort of deceit and you know maybe it's even cost you some money maybe they've overspent some money or something and you know you're like hmm i think you're reluctant to see the new approach with this person because of the way that they have they've said something to you or the way they've treated you and it appears that you know you have a decision to make you have a decision to make whether to drop it and let go or to stay in this situation offer them more support okay so i think there's a decision here do you just go or do you offer them more love i mean what's what that is what the decision is to me that's what it looks like it looks like um yeah there might be a new partnership okay this is this could be a new maybe there's a new exciting opportunity opening for you and maybe that's why this person is not happy 
that could certainly be the case because this is a new exciting opportunity that usually challenges you and and pushes you to do something you know it's kind of daring and this is a new partner okay this is a new partnership or a fork in the road where you you choose a new path after some heartache yeah I think that you guys have been going through some suffering and I think this suffering is in regards to some sort of decision that you need to make and you've been stalling you've been stalling with making this decision all right whoo wow okay so I feel like you guys you may um, may have a love interest put it that way whether you're in a couple or a single there I believe that there is a love interest and you're and you're watching them you're you're um, maybe you're finding the confidence to even speak to them or to do something maybe you you don't have enough confidence but you're starting to find this confidence that could certainly be the case yeah maybe you're you're thinking about offering them something Maybe you're thinking about offering, maybe you're thinking about just communicating with them or offering them something, um, giving them a gift, giving them some money or offering them stability or security or growth. You know, this is very, these are new beginnings. Okay, so you could be having a new beginning and this is a significant new beginning. Okay. You guys are having changes. Changes are coming this week, okay? If not this week, soon after, okay? We have the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. We have the Lover's Card and the Two of Cups. This is regarding love. This is like a soulmate connection. Could be a reunion. Could be a reconciliation, okay? And I feel like this is very stable, secure, um, passionate, exciting, emotional, um, loving, kind, whatever this is, there is some sort of either it's a reunion or it's a new union, okay? And I think that you have been reluctant to to see this approach, okay? You've been reluctant to move forward. Either you didn't have the confidence and you've just gained the confidence to speak to this person or offer something to this person or, you know, this person is offering it to you, but I feel like there is some sort of, I do believe that there's a letting go of something because somebody hasn't been putting in energy. So you may be looking outside the fork in the road. You might be thinking about going down a different path because wherever you're at, there's no, nobody's putting any work in, you know, and you could be dealing with somebody that's not communicating, they don't have good intentions, they have hidden hidden agendas, and you see it, you know, you see what's exactly what's going on, so you may be looking, and I hate to say this, outside of the relationship, or outside of the job, or whatever, however you want to apply this, you might be thinking, you know what, it's time for me to go down a new path, I need to go down this new path now, so I feel like you, and it, you could be going through a divorce, this could be the person that you're divorcing that is, you know, holding you back. This person may be holding you back because, you know, you're not completely there yet. But I feel like there is still a new love interest here. And I think this is a new love interest. I think you have a choice between the past, you know, the, the path, because you have two paths here. Okay, this is, do you stay where you're at or do you move forward? And it that's really what it looks like to me. So I think, do you stay concentrated on this person who didn't give you what you wanted, did not fulfill you, whatever, or do you move forward into this new love that could be quite exciting and quite, you know, um, passionate. And this could be quite unexpected too. I mean, this new, this new love that comes in could be very, very unexpected. Okay. Just saying it could, it could come in just like that. And this person is not your usual type, but it looks like it could be a wonderful, wonderful new beginning. You are being offered some raw opportunities from the universe that are outstanding. Okay. With the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups, that's manifestation. That's instant manifestation. Your thoughts become things. So if you've been thinking about a person a lot, then this is probably who you're thinking about. And I think if you're thinking about somebody new, whatever, you guys, you know who this is. I can tell by the manifestation powers here with these ones. You know, it just looks like there's a new union, 
on the horizon after a troublesome one. Yeah, you had, there was one union where there was no action, there was no movement, there was no nothing happening. And I feel like you are receiving a new opportunity to have the wheel spin in your favor, to move forward, to start a new chapter in your life with somebody else after some heartache, after you let go of this grief and this sorrow with whoever this was that didn't fulfill your wishes, okay? So, yeah, this awareness is unbelievable. As above, so below. You guys are shedding the old. You're shedding the old and you're willing to do it. And I feel like you guys are taking action. You are manifesting. And I believe that there could absolutely be a new love that you are interested in. You may have even been watching them, okay? Or thinking about communicating. And this could be the week where you actually take action. And I think that if you do take action with whoever this new person is, or whatever, this could even, I mean, because we could have a reconciliation here. Okay, if there is a reconciliation, I think it's somebody from the past, 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 way past, way, 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 way past, okay? I just do, even though we don't have the Six of Cups, I don't think this is somebody from the from the near recent past. I feel like this is something that um, has manifested over time. You have completed some sort of chapter in your life, some sort of phase, and now the wheel is spinning in your favor after a very difficult time and you are moving to a much be more beautiful spot with stability, security, abundance, passion, excitement, and love. You ready? Ooh! Focus on love. Look for the good attributes in each and every person in your life. Just focus on love. Focus on the future. This is saying don't go, don't let the past hold you back. Okay? I think you were dealing with somebody who didn't have the best of intentions. They had hidden agendas. And you've come to that realization that they no longer serve you. They don't fulfill your wishes. And so you, now that you've manifested this new change, you've manifested this new person into your life, you've taken action, you've, you've taken the steps that you needed to take, if you have, this is for people that have, okay, you are shedding the old, and I feel it because you are shedding the old, you are bringing in new love or a reconciliation. And it's, it's, it's as if you've held on for too long, okay, you had this fear of change for so long, this week might be the week where you actually find the confidence and the courage and the strength and the willpower to take action. And that is what I have for you, Aries. Now, somebody could be taking action towards you, you know, but action is happening, whether it's you taking action or somebody else taking action towards you. Action, success, Victory, new chapter, new life is right in front of you. Talk to you later.